Thomas Weather. The Rich Thomas Weather Network, brought to you by these fine sponsors. Hear Rich's forecast hourly on these Blue Water Broadcasting radio stations. Hey, good morning, everybody. Monday morning, sixth day of August, first day of school for a lot of kids. Thousands of kids start today. Uh, not everybody, but, uh, you know, some, some of the bigger systems today, like Otago County and Montgomery County and then others, and then more tomorrow, I think Elmore County. And then as the week goes on and next week as well, uh, more and more school systems will be uh, starting school. And it's oppressive this morning. As I make this at 357 in the morning, it is 77 degrees with a dew point of 74 and a heat index of 81. Wow. Blazing heat is the big story today. We'll look at future radar, and I'll show you who, uh, you know, how many showers might be around later on today to cool off some lucky communities. We'll look to better rain chances later in the week. Yeah, another change coming up in our weather pattern. Uh, maybe a lot of showers and storms later in the week. We'll look at that as well, plus a, a peek into the tropics, including a major hurricane that could affect Hawaii. Here's the reason for the blazing heat today. Up at 20,000 feet, that big upper-level heat dome is still over the southeastern U.S., so mid-90s again today, and few and far between on the showers and storms. There'll be a few out there, but your chances of seeing one, not very good. Uh, there won't be many to go around. I've got the rain chances in the 20 to 30 percent range today with mid-90s and heat index 100 to 103 again, like yesterday. And I think uh, tomorrow the showers will start to be a little bit more numerous. You know, I'm going to kick the rain chances up to about 40% on Tuesday and then closer to 50% on Wednesday. Uh, and then later in the week, the, the, the rain chances will get better. Now, as we look to the north, we see this frontal system coming out of the Ohio Valley. That's going to be, become more of a player for the state of Alabama, I think, uh, by late week, especially there's the Thursday map, Thursday morning. You can see the, the front cutting into north Alabama. And that's going to be the focus for widespread showers and storms, which will be scattered to numerous across the area on Thursday. You know, I've got the rain chances closer to 60% on Thursday and uh, at least 50-50 on Friday. In fact, the upper atmosphere is becoming more conducive to showers and thunderstorms by late week. Look at this. The uh, ridge of high pressure will be gone and replaced with a trough. And that's going to be around and uh, affect not only the Friday forecast, but the Saturday and Sunday forecast as well. Showers and thunderstorms will be still around. Have a plan B for the weekend forecast. We'll continue to update it as we get closer to the weekend. But I think there will be a good number of showers and storms each afternoon uh, right on through the uh, upcoming weekend. So rain chances uh, in the 30% range perhaps uh, tomorrow, Tuesday, 30 to 40%. More like 50% Wednesday, 60% Thursday, and a 50-50 chance at least Friday, Saturday, and probably Sunday as well. So we'll keep you up to date on the weekend forecast. Now, as we go out to the tropics, in the Atlantic, there's this little system that could be uh, uh, acquired tropical characteristics. Invest 97L way out there in the middle of the Atlantic. But more interesting to the United States is, well, one of the United States anyway, Hawaii is that storm right in the middle of the picture there. A little pinpoint there called Hurricane Hector. And boy, the uh, the entire Pacific is really active right now. But Hector is a Category 4 hurricane with 140 mile an hour winds. And it'll brush by the islands by midweek. Now, even though it'll stay south of the islands... I think there'll be tropical storm force winds perhaps as early as Tuesday night into Wednesday. So very interesting to watch Hurricane Hector out there in the Central Pacific. Looks like I'm going to have to get the sprinkler out later on today because the rain chances are tiny and uh, the rain chances will get better later in the week. That's good news. Stay hydrated today. It's going to be a tough August day. I'll have another video for you first thing tomorrow morning at 4.45 a.m. Hey, join us live on the radio this morning from 6 to 9 on News Talk 93.1 with Greg J. Emily and Bailey the Wonder Dog, who's right behind me out here. Plus, we're live on CBS 8 and ABC 32, the Alabama News Network. I have a weather chat with Ryan at 5.50 a.m., and then uh, at 6.40, our morning crew interacts with their morning crew. And your forecasts, whenever you're out, uh, twice an hour, across the dial on eight radio stations, the Blue Water family of stations. Have a good one. I'll see you later. Rich Thomas Weather.